Genevieve Paturo was a highly successful TV marketing executive, but a simple question from a little girl changed her life. Genevieve jumped off the corporate ladder and found her true life's calling by starting the Pajama Program. And since 2001, it's provided over 7 million good nights to underprivileged children. Her inspiring story is in her new book that you must read. It's called Purpose, Passion, and Pajamas, How to Transform Your Life, Embrace the Human Connection, and Lead with Meaning. My distinct pleasure to welcome Genevieve Paturo. Genevieve, first of all, you know, I'm thinking since everybody's working from home and all this uh, weather, maybe we should all have done the show in pajamas in tribute to what <laughs> you've been doing. <laughs> welcome. It's great to have you. Thank you for the invitation, Governor. Well, you know, this is uh, a wonderful organization that all got started because of a question a little girl asked. What was that question and what exactly happened? Yes, yes. Um, Two questions. The first one I heard in my heart. My heart asked me, if this is the next 30 years of your life, is this enough? And that's what led me to really think about what I was doing. I was alone. I was single. I was in my late 30s. And I realized I had missed having my own family, my children. So when I started reading in shelters to these children who had been through such trauma, and I didn't know much about what they'd been through, it really, it grounded me. It just took me to this place of peace, just bonding with these children. And one night I followed where they were taking them into another room to go to sleep. And what I saw broke my heart. There were just futons and couches, two or three kids helped up onto a surface. Some of them were crying and lights out and the staff were lovely, but it wasn't the bedtime that I had. And I remembered my mom giving the four of us kids and they were sleeping in their pajamas while I was watching. And I had this flashback of my mom and everything about bedtime and of course, pajamas. So I asked if I could bring pajamas the next week. I brought pajamas the next week. I was so excited. I read to the children and then I started handing them out one by one. One little girl just looked at me and she was so frightened. I tried to give her the pajamas just for her and she just shook her head. No, no, no. And it, it really took me back. I didn't know what, what I'd, I'd done. And I tried again gently. No, no, no. She was just shaking her head. She stepped off to the side to watch me give them to the rest of the children. And when the rest had them and went into that room to sleep, I went back over to her and tried gently again to have her feel them, how soft they would be. They were pink, like her top. And she whispered to me, what are pajamas? What are they? Genevieve, it's so hard, I think, for some of us to understand that there are children growing up in America who Mm -hmm. just have so little that the thought of, a pair of pajamas is something utterly foreign to them. That must have been a shock for you and, and a real awakening of sorts. It, it really, it really, it so broke my heart. And I, I didn't want her to see me crying because I wanted to cry. I was, I didn't know what to do. I didn't want her to think she, she calls me, you know, to cry. So I explained to this little girl who must've been about six and her, her, Ponytails were lopsided and her clothes were soiled and she had shoes that were like size 10. I I know they just put on whatever they could to keep her warm and dry, but I had to explain pajamas to her. And then the staff helped her put them on. And before she turned to go into the room, she she gave me this little smile and that was it. My corporate life was over. and, And all I could think about was bringing these children pajamas. Did you ever see that little girl again? I mean, that's been a long time ago. You know, that was 20 years ago. And little did I know then that I should have been taking notes. I just thought this would be something I would do for a little while, you know, my own time. I didn't realize I would be obsessed. I didn't realize people wanted to help. And so in within a couple of years, I did start keeping notes. And there are a couple, not her. I don't know what happened. It was such a fluid population. Has there ever been a moment in these 20 years that you've said, oh, boy, this is this is hard work. I've made so many sacrifices. I could have been probably a CEO by now. Maybe I should have stayed in the corporate world and and made a boatload of money. Do you ever have those thoughts? (laughs) No, but I will tell you, and and I'm pretty honest. I'm very honest in my book. It was hard. I I really jumped and Mm. I just 
couldn't stop this obsession. And, you know, we had those phones that you couldn't bring to an office, but I did, you know, on, on my hip. And I would run into any corner to take a phone call from a shelter staff person asking, do you have any more pajamas? Or from somebody who's leaving them on my doorstep wants to help. So it was it was very difficult figuring it out. I had no idea how to start a nonprofit. I didn't even know I would. You know, a small article appeared in a, a national magazine and it was this big and thousands and thousands of boxes came with pajamas and books and notes from people. And one note said, if you send us your 501c3, We'll send you a grant. I didn't know what a 501c3 was. <laughs> and, that's, and that's how I learned. What a great story. I mean, but you touch the hearts of so many people. And obviously, your book is doing that. It's already become a number one seller on Amazon the book Purpose, Passion, and Pajamas. When people read that book, is there something that you hope they just feel when they put it down and finish it? Well, you know, this. These 20 years have been full of people inspiring me and feeling that little girl. And it was it's magical. And I always say we have to share our stories. My goodness, in this last year, this has been the number one, I think, reality. If we share our stories, we understand more about each other and we're compassionate. And when I told that story to people time and again about that little girl standing in front of me, not knowing what pajamas were, asking me that, I felt like. I was that little girl channeled to everyone I spoke to and they felt it. And that's what I want people to understand. It's about our our hearts and our compassion and listening to each other and trying to do something good outside of ourselves. I'm trying to inspire more people who've inspired me, give it back sort of, to let people know you can find your purpose. You can do something that fills you with joy and helps so many people at the same time. It's a wonderful work that you're doing. And Genevieve, thank you. And right now, I don't know if Keith Bilbury is wearing his pajamas, but I do know this. <laughs> he is tell us how we can keep up with Genevieve and the pajama program. Keith, tell us. Purpose, Passion, and Pajamas is available now. You can find out more about it as well as the pajama program and how to book Genevieve to speak at your event by going to GenevieveFuturo.com. 